In this fairy tale setting, the privilege to find comfort in Japan's ultimate symbol of perfection, the geisha. She's a dancer, a singer, artist, confidante, but most of all, magician. She conjures a fantasy world as secretive as it is exclusive. Among the few Westerners to penetrate her mysterious facade, to penetrate her, to penetrate her, to penetrate her, to penetrate her, to penetrate her. from ancient Japan. <laughs> and it's this technique I got from ancient Japan. <laughs> and I'm Buddy. I'm Buddy and I'm the boss. Look, listen. <laughs> it doesn't look good yet, but... <laughs> why doesn't it look... Why, why is it flying on you, though? <laughs> Maybe I've got, like, um, more submissive skin. Ah, submissive really? skin. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Camilla. I'm, uh, I'm here to play, um, to audition for the part of um, myself playing um, Philippa Sue playing Eliza in Hamilton. Um, this is the dress, right? It's, it's, it's just a bit small. Okay, now I'm ready. Hey, it's Camilla. Um, I just sat down to edit this and um, basically, sorry, we... Well, I forgot about the copyright stuff and we can't actually play you the song without Fat Lawsuit from Lin-Manuel Miranda. Um, so, yeah, you'll have to 
sing along or maybe um, play it alongside it or something. Um, pretend it's me singing it. Um, yeah, I actually, I actually didn't get the part, which is, yeah, massive bummer. Um, he said I wasn't really what he was looking for. Um, that he was going to go in a different direction. Um, I think he said something about being a bit too modern or something, which is like so fair enough because BAME is the future. Um, I think I kind of look fit when I sing. It's kind of a bit embarrassing, actually. <laughs> Maybe I didn't get the part because I was too fit. They say you can be too fit for certain parts, I think. He said that they never had an Asian in before, which was really exciting because of like diversity and stuff. Um, which is, yeah, I guess that is exciting. Um, but he didn't want anything serious, ultimately. Which is just so fine, because I, I love having fun. Um, and it was, it was fun. It was a really rewarding experience. And actually, one of the panel was a quarter Indian, I think. So it wasn't even all white. Um the girl who got the part actually looks really nice. Like, really, really nice. A and really pretty. And I'm sure she's going to be really, really good. Um, and actually, blonde hair suits that dress so much better. So. Oh, this is so cringy. Um, let's just fast forward it a bit. When I wear sunglasses, do I still look Asian? Like, I don't know, I feel like my nose and mouth on a white person would still look white. And and Jennifer Lawrence has, like, hooded eyes. I look in the mirror and I use my hands to cover parts of my face and I wonder what part of me it inhabits. I want to know where it is. So I know how to show it and how to hide it and hopes he likes it. Next time, though. Yeah, next time. Tonight, they eat steak, not sushi, and drink French wine instead of sake. No, it started in the wet markets. No, yeah, no, a guy ate a band that had eaten by an armadillo. No, yeah, no, a guy ate a band that had eaten by an armadillo. I just don't understand why we have to wear masks. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world is now <laughs> I'm not trying, trying to be racist or anything, like, but like, about. I just they're literally all over the city. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's so many of them. Why? There's so many of them. Why? There's so many of them.
In a world where the past is revered, the geisha will never be outdated. In her illusory haven, beauty and innocence play happily together. And perfection is achieved by grace and respect. So long as pleasure is sought in fantasy, the geisha will survive. She's a dancer, a singer, artist, confidante. But most of all, magician. She conjures a fantasy world as 